Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to NFTHUD.io. Once again, it is time to level up and game on. So I got some extra information last night. I want to make sure I share with you guys. The third one is going to be the most important one. That's the one that's going to make a difference. In case you are not aware of how the mechanic is set up, is they kind of sneaked it in there. They posted on their um Discord, and I don't know why they didn't put that information up anywhere else. So I'm going to give you guys a head up about it. It's going to make a difference of how much you make with this upcoming event. So be very careful with it, and I think this is a very important information that most people don't have. Let's get a few things out of the way first. This morning, about roughly around six hours ago, I'm going to link this for you guys if you want to come take a look. But the short and simple version of it is that my DeFi page team um, partnered up with Chainlink. So you guys know what Chainlink is? It's just to verify all the transactions are fair. So if you're creating um, an egg, which they also mentioned here, it's like you go to make an egg, they're going to make sure because the egg has almost 2 million different random combinations that could be generated. So they want to make sure that those, gen, um, those eggs that are being generated, when you're opening them, it is fair all across the board. Everyone has the same 100% chance, just like everybody else. It, everybody across the board, every single egg that's being generated is being randomly, fairly generated by their um, server. So that's basically what this says right here. That's the short version of it. They partnered up with Chainlink. Also, for example, we're going to have the boss fight coming up. You want to make sure if your pet does uh, a total of 14.8 or 87.9, um, points of damage that you are actually truly getting what you're supposed to get paid in DPEG tokens. That's what Chainlink is there for. It's to verify, make sure the transaction that goes in, make sure the transaction that comes out, there was no tempering and there was no funny business going on and it's a 100% fair system. That's why they partnered with Chainlink. Again, I'll put the link in the description, but that's the short version of it. If you want, come give it a read. Now, number two, here's what else I found out. I wanted to make sure, let's go over here because I want to pull this up. They kept teasing and they kept saying, and I was trying to figure out, was it their English that wasn't proper or was it that, you know, they really are going to have multiple bosses? I think what happened, and I'm not 100% sure on this one, but I think 90% I figured out how this mechanic, um, the mechanism is going to work. Because one thing that my DeFi pet is doing a poor job, not even a poor job, a pet's poor job at, is giving complete information. They're not good with giving updates and really explaining and giving information. So they kept saying different bosses. We have different bosses, and you're going to have the new boss. And I think they're correct, because here's what I think is going to happen. See these three different bosses? This one here, the Hydra, that's this guy here. I think the reason they had them with these other two is because there's going to be at least three different bosses. We're going to fight the Hydra, then we might fight this guy, and then we might fight this guy. And what's going to remove the Hydra and bring this guy in or fight this guy and then he leaves and bring this guy in is the way they were trying to explain it, which they did a poor job of. So let's say the Hydra has 99 health bars left. We have 12 hours to get it down to zero and finish or to get it down to one and defeat the very last bit of health that is on level one. Then the Hydra dies. We beat them, we won. Yay. 15 minutes later, the next boss comes in. Same scenario. 99 arm health. We're going to drag his health down, get it down to the very last ball, beat him, he dies. Yay. The next one comes in. And I think that's how they're doing it. They said they have hundreds of bosses. I don't know if that. Is if they're really going to have a hundred different bosses or how they're going to do it. Like I said, they're doing a piss poor job of letting people know how this boss fight is going to work. But basically, it seems like that's what's going on. Also, they mentioned 
we have 12 hours to get all the health down. If at any point of time, the 12 hours runs out and we don't defeat the boss, the boss is going to leave. Once that boss leaves, if we don't defeat him and get the health down to the very last ball and beat it where we actually defeat the boss, the boss is going to end up leaving after 12 hours or after 24 hours or whatever it's going to be. And then the next one is automatically going to appear. So we have 12 hours to defeat the boss. To go from 99 health ball down to 1 health ball and beat the boss. Or 24 hours, whatever it is. But it seems that I believe this is we have 12 hours to defeat that boss. If we don't defeat the boss within 12 hours, it's going to leave. 15 minutes later, the boss is going to run away and escape. 15 minutes later, the next boss is going to come in. So if they're only going to have three bosses, and I'm going to say that's probably going to be roughly about a day and a half, I would say, of um, the event going on. Also, speaking of the event, which is one of the other updates that I wanted to get to you guys. When you f use your pet, and that's the one question I did ask in the telegram, and I made sure I got the answer to it. My question was, okay, if you have multiple bosses and I use my pet in the first boss, is it that until that specific boss is down, I cannot use my pet anymore? But in, when the next boss challenge comes in, can I use that same pet? The answer is no. You get to use your pet once. For the entire event, regardless of which boss you use it on. So if they're going to have three different bosses or ten different bosses or a hundred different bosses, however it's going to work. During the entire event, regardless on which boss you use your pet on, you only get to use that pet once. Once you use that pet, it is locked. They're going to put it in a smart contract where they lock it up until the event is done. Speaking of a block and a pet, like I said, I don't hate. I think the team is trying their best, but shit, you ain't playing with my money. Some of my pets have logos and they're like these guys here. I'm not taking no chances. If you take my pet, I want to make sure this pet with this logo on it, I get it back. I'm not taking no chances. So what I've been doing, as I told you guys, use the awesome screenshot if you're not sure what I mean. Look at yes, um, the video I put up yesterday, and also I did put a link to Google Sheets where I'm recording like this Adonis right here. I'm recording it. See this one here, Adonis seven zero five one level logo. Yes, aura uh, the outline. Yes, wings. Yes, health. All of that stuff. That's this boy right here. I'm keeping track of everything, and also. This will help me when I come and I can put it after I'm done because I'm only up to 100. I got 206 more to go. It is tedious, but it is absolutely going to be worth it. Because down the line, you may want to say, hey, let me find out which pets or have the highest crit. Then I can come and put it, set it up here so I can find out which one of them has the highest crit. So I would suggest you guys come and do that. So now I can come and put it. Any way that I want, set up the column, find out which one has the highest crit, or find out which one of them has the highest attack, or if I'm going to have a special event, or the event is going to be that we need the ones with the highest health, I can come and quickly find that information. Because the last thing you want to do is especially like a boss event, and then you let it like, it says you need pets that are um, HP or over 1,000. Do you want to go clicking through all your pets to find out which one is health over 1,000, or... Would you like to come here? Okay, this one is over a thousand. This one is over a thousand. And you can go ahead and grab your pets and go fighting. Now, for the most important information that I got for you guys today. And then we can close out this video. During the Discord, if you guys are going, let's say you have your pets, right? And then you realize, hey, okay, I can, um, let me pull it up for you guys real quick. Give me a quick second. Let me close this down because I want to make sure you guys don't make this mistake and lose money. I should have had this pulled up already, so give me a quick second. Let me pull this up. Boom, boom, boom. 
I'm looking for the one that I need. Bear with me for a second, guys. Uh, I only got about two hours of sleep yesterday, actually up to this morning. Okay, here we go. Let me make sure my video is still recording. Good. See how this says 5x damage? 5x damage? Those are the worthy pets. And I'm going to tell you guys what this is extremely important. Make sure you pay attention to this sport. Every single pet that you have during this event, sooner or later, is going to have a 5x damage on it. If you guys, in case you guys didn't catch yesterday's video, there are worthy pets and there are normal pets. So let's say the current boss that is up and I see my pet says 5x only, and this is not financial advice, you guys are going to do what you want to do. Only use that pet when it says 5x damage. Other people that are not subscribed to this video may not get this information. Pay attention. Do not, do not use your pet that does not have a 5x on it and say, hey, well, since these are the, the, the two that have the 5x, I'm going to use these. But then if I use these, I can get that extra instead of getting one um, D pet token per one damage, per one point of damage, I still could get 0.2. Don't do that. Here's why. You're going to wait until these pets here, for example, let's say like this is your screen that you're looking at, and these don't have a 5x, wait until the next boss or wait until the, um, the health bar is taken down and then use that pet. Here is why. This is what I found out while I was sneaking through and getting information. This, this is an announcement that was made under my D5 pet in the Telegram. Number three, this is what it stated. The factor, the factor to identify the worth, the worthy pet, which is the one that says 5x, is based on each boss. We have 100 different and unique bosses, which is why I'm confused. I don't know why it says 100 different and unique bosses. Do they have 100 bosses or is it the health bar that's going to go down? But in the case, which means all of your pets will be the worthy one based on each of the bosses. In case you're still confused, every single pet that you have, sooner or later, during this event will have an X5 on it. So if you got 60 pets or 300 pets or 10 pets or 15 pets, it doesn't matter. Sooner or later, every single one of them, some point during the event will say X5. So if you go and use this pet, while it does not have an X5, you're only going to get .2 d pet tokens worth per one damage that you do if you do that you are losing money make sure when you use your pet it's at the correct time where it says 5x damage because every single pet in your account at one point of the event i'm repeating it again every single pet in your account at one point of the event is going to have a 5x on it and it's going to be considered a worthy pet. If you use that pet before that, and remember once you use it, you can never use it again until the event is completely over. Not that specific boss. The entire event is done. The event is complete. There's no more bosses, no more fighting, no more raiding, no, everything is done. That's when you're going to get your pet back. So if you go in and you click on this pet here or any one of these that does not say an X5, you just took a 0.2 worth of D-pet tokens instead of taking a one whole token for each one damage that you do. You're going to shit yourself out of making maximum profit during this event. Why did they put this in their telegram and they only got it on here on their... Um, on the Discord, I don't know. But when I realized this, I was like, hey, I got to make another video. Give you guys a heads up.
and I wanted to do the video now in case I get caught up later and by tomorrow within the next 12 hours because we got less than 11 hours to go I forgot to post this information up so do not use your pet until you see it's considered a worthy pet and it has an x5 now I do understand some of you guys may have to go to work and you're like you know what let me use get as much as I can now because while my pet is on the x5 I may be at work that I get it but if you want to try your best wait until your pet says x5 and then use it another consideration it does say the harder the boss gets the more each point is going to be worth during the damage what a lot of people are going to do and i try to tell you guys that yesterday as well as the um whoever does the last hit is going to get an extra um payout on in d pets also i believe the more the, the health goes down as it gets harder and harder and harder to fight and when it's almost dead, I think you're going to get more D pets. Because they did say the harder the boss um, gets, the more reward you're going to get. Also remember, we may be getting items as well. That's another thing. I don't know if they, they never mentioned that. But there may be a possibility where it's not just D pet tokens. You may get items or whatever it is. Another suggestion that I told you guys. Let's say we're getting the rewards as the game goes along. You know, you're getting your D pet token as you're playing the boss. That means, let's say you have 20 D pets. You're playing boom, 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 and you realize, hey, I just made nine D pet tokens. If you get paid those nine D pet tokens before the event is over, keep in mind if those D pets are in your wallet, you can use those D pet tokens. Go get three more pets, level them up because you should have plenty of food, and then use those pets as soon as they say X5 and keep earning more on um, d-pet tokens now some people are going to want to keep their d-pet token to sell it because they're not able to sell their um nft d-pet themselves so you may want to hold on to the token to sell it on the market or you can use those tokens if we are getting the reward as the um event goes along to get more d-pet nfts themselves get the nfts and then use those NFTs to earn more DPEX. So it depends. Do you want to hold on to your tokens? Or do you want to buy more NFTs to keep getting more um, tokens to keep getting more NFT? You understand? I hope, I hope that didn't confuse you. My suggestion at that point is tell yourself or have a number in your mind how many tokens you want before you start converting those tokens into DPEX NFTs. I have 300 pets. I would like to collect at least a minimum of 50 to 100 d pet tokens if i can do that during this event i will be happy anything after 100 tokens if i'm able to get to that i don't even know if i'm going to be able to make one token or a thousand tokens i have no idea but i do know roughly around if i can make more than 100 tokens after that 100 tokens starting from 101 or should i say 103 I might start taking that anything that's over 100, convert them into D-Pet NFTs, feed them, get them to level 10, maybe even evolve it, and then wait for it to sell X5 and see if I can still use that pet. So some of the tokens I'm going to keep, some of the tokens I might turn into NFTs and see if I can reapply the same logic to keep getting more tokens, all right? But just make sure if you're going to use your D-Pet, try your best. If you are able or you have the time or you have the leisure to wait until it says X5. Because again, the last time I'm saying this, they said every single one of your pets, sooner or later, will have an X5. So wait for that X5, all right? So we're going on almost 20 minutes. I hope this was very helpful to you guys because I want you guys to get as much as you can out of this um, event. I don't make videos just to get clicks. I make videos to help everybody out. As I mentioned before, and I'm going to mention it probably every few times when I'm making a video. I'm not here to get rich off of you guys. I'm not here to make money off of you guys or those people who are my followers or my subscribers. I'm here to make money with you guys. So I'm not just putting out information that's going to make my videos look good. I want to put information that's going to help you guys. 
Okay? I don't just put out knowledge and tips. I try to put out wisdom with those knowledge and tips so you can know how to use the knowledge and the tips that I'm giving you. Wisdom is not the same as information. Wisdom is how well you use the information that you receive. Okay, guys, I think we're going to keep it short, 20 minutes. Remember to subscribe, put on the bell notification in case I come across some um, um, more updates that I want to put before the um, event comes out. We got roughly about 10 hours and 36 minutes to go. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Remember to subscribe, comment, like. Leave me a comment.